In this video, I would like to chat to you about talent, passion and skill. Hello art friends, welcome to the Artifix 23 studio. If you're new here, my name is Pietru and this channel is all about bringing you a variety of art related content and to encourage you to follow your art. If that sounds like your kind of vibe, please consider subscribing and remember to ring the bell so you'll be the first to know whenever I upload a new video. Okay, so when I just started out as an artist, Many times people would comment on something I made and say, Oh wow, you're so talented. It was really good to hear and I used to feel flattered, even proud. And before I go on, I would just like to say that I realize that those comments come from a good place and in most cases does not mean any harm or disrespect to the artist. So this video is not about criticizing the person giving the compliments or the actual comment. Now fast forward a few years. Through lots and lots of practice, I learned new skills and mastered some art techniques. And I started realizing that that comment made me feel slightly uneasy. And here's the reason for my frustration. It kind of felt to me like there was this misconception that because I have this innate magical talent, maybe I was able to just whip up a drawing or painting without having to put in too much time or effort. That got me thinking about this topic. What is talent really? And what is the difference between talent, skill and passion? To me, talent is something that comes naturally to us, the knowledge that we are very good at something. We might not have a passion for that specific talent or an eagerness to develop that talent further. However, if we stop at nothing and work really hard for hours and hours, failure after failure, to develop that talent, that to me says we have a true passion for what we are doing. Whether it's in sport, music, fine art, photography, etc. etc. For instance, Someone wins the Wimbledon Championship year after year. We watch them perform and win on the tennis court. But do we really consider the time, effort and even pain behind all their success? The hours and hours of practice, years and years of training to become that good. Another example. I have a passion for animals. But I don't have the talent or skill to become a veterinary surgeon. I draw the paint and draw them. The veterinary surgeon also has a passion for animals, but maybe not the talent to paint them. But they spent years learning and practicing how to heal animals. We both have a passion for the same thing, but we studied and developed different skill sets to pursue our passion and use our own unique talents. So, Having a passion for something doesn't necessarily mean we have a talent for it, but we can learn and practice a certain skill to succeed in whatever it is we feel we want to achieve. I read this interesting quote somewhere. There is no glory in practice, but without practice, there is no glory. Let's sum it up. Talent is something we are born with. Something we intuitively know we are good at. We can't fake a talent and it is found by exploring and pushing our own boundaries. Passion bubbles from within, but does not necessarily equal talent. A skill is something we can learn through hard work and repetition, regardless of whether we have a talent or a passion for it. Somehow these three things, talent, passion and skill are interlinked and can lead us on a path to success. It simply boils down to each one of us as an individual on how much heart, effort and practice we are willing to put into achieving our goals, live out our passion and use the natural talent we were born with. 
I hope you find this video helpful in your daily art endeavors. Thank you so much for watching. Feel free to leave me a thumbs up before you go. I will see you next time and remember to follow your art.